Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write negative fractions. And when we write negative fractions, we need to remember a couple of important things. First, we have three different options when writing negative fractions. And second, only use one negative sign. And we'll talk about why once we get into our examples. So let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have negative four fifths. Now let's write this out three different ways, starting with the negative sign in front. So we can write negative four fifths. So negative sign in front. The next way would be writing the negative with the numerator. So this would represent negative four fifths as well. And then the third way, writing the negative with the denominator. So all three of those represent negative four fifths. Now remember, only use one negative sign. The one thing we can't do here is do negative four over negative five because fractions represent division. And when we have a negative divided by a negative, we get a positive. So this actually equals a positive four fifths and does not represent negative four fifths. So three different options and only use one negative sign. Let's move on to number two and do another quick example. So negative nine seventeenths, we can write the negative sign in front, negative nine seventeenths. We can write the negative sign with the numerator, the top number, negative nine seventeenths, or with the denominator, negative nine seventeenths. So three different options there, only use one negative sign. Now remember, the one thing we can't do here is use a negative with both the numerator and denominator. So negative nine over negative 17, that would actually give us a positive nine seventeenths because remember fractions represent division. So a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So do not put a negative with both the numerator and denominator. So there you have it. There's how you write negative fractions. We can write the negative sign in front with the numerator or with the denominator, just not both the numerator and denominator. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.